Hi, welcome to another edition of Cook This. I'm your host, Pete Calvetti. This is your local uh, show where we take our favorite restaurants from the neighborhood and ask them to come in and cook some of their favorite dishes for us. Today we are going to be doing Mr. Ray from Cafe Salsa. Welcome. How do you do? And of course, our guest judges will be the one and only Mr. John Passarello. <laughs> yeah, the one and only. Yeah. <laughs> There's Thank only one God. of you, John. God bless. Um, <laughs> Mr. Mike Matan Moden. Moden. And of course, Miss Lauren Presta, the lovely Lauren Presta. Thank you for coming and uh, eating Thank food with us again this morning. So today we have uh, one of the local favorite restaurants. It's Cafe Salsa, which is um, Spanish-inspired food. Mexican-inspired. Mexican-inspired food. I saw the menu the other day. Fantastic. This is going to be a neat show. So the first plate he's going to start with is um, some spinach and sweet potato quesadillas. Never heard of it. Can't wait to see it. All right. Start it off here. All right. So, we're, yeah, these are corn tortillas. So we're going to take and put those. We've got... I buttered up the pan a little bit. We're going to put them in the pan, get them started on one side. In here we've got a little uh, of our sweet potatoes that we made earlier. Oh nice. Yeah, so now we're going to put a little sweet potato on each side of the quesadilla. So you can use flour as well? You could use you flour. Oh, absolutely. Okay. I've nice. never heard of sweet potato quesadillas. It sounds awesome. Well, yeah, it's Can't kind wait. of an idea I got from traveling down south. It's very we'll popular. Turn it up a little bit, probably. Probably, um, yeah, we can do that. I see it smoking slightly. Good. If you see it smoking, that's a good thing. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, so anyway, traveling down there, we um, I saw people eating a lot of sweet potatoes. I thought, oh, wow, this is good. And they were sweet. And then I thought, sweet and spicy. So what's going to happen is we're going to make these quesadillas mm. sweet, spicy, creamy. This sauce over here has got avocado, tomatilla, and peppers. So it's nice and spicy, smooth spicy, though. Not one of those burning up front, just a nice warm spice. A little pico de gallo, a little sour cream to cool it off if you need to. But the point is that we're going to take make these quesadillas. You're going to put a little sauce on each time you take a bite and you're going to see the 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 marriage of sweet and spicy it's a wonderful thing the marriage nice good words so like you said you were traveling is that where you come up with some of your ideas for how to what you want to put together on your menu well absolutely yeah my uh the reason i travel down south a lot and i have my, my daughter and grandchildren are living down there so uh we go down to visit and the next thing i know i'm eating sweet potatoes and <laughs> all kinds of things at a at a old southern diner just like you see in the movies almost. Now, how long has the marriage between you and the culinary arts been going on? I've been at this for almost 30 years. I started in 1981. I got out of my old business and was wondering what the heck am I going to do? Decided I wanted to do something that helped people as opposed to what I was in the chemical business. It was crazy. This is much better. I mean, I, uh, I'm making things that make people happy and that's what I wanted to do. That's pretty Go cool. Ahead. Passion, you gotta have that. Well, yeah, I was food. just telling you, I was at the restaurant just this past week, and uh, <coughs> I was just quite impressed, and it wasn't the first time, but quite impressed by both your staff, the service, and the food was just awesome. Well, thanks. And it wasn't heavy, it was just really great. It was a great meal. I have to admit that, I mean, I'm half Mexican, I don't know if you guys knew that, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm Mexican Italian, and um, I've, this is entirely original. The, never this, heard of this, any of these marriage. No. Yeah, I've never heard this either. I'm no, no, no. The Mexican food they, they dabble in, in potatoes, but more mm -hmm. of a Spanish style potato. Right. You know, with you know the paprika and chili. So you know this like is this. a compote. But yeah. This, oh yeah, yeah. But um, um, but sweet potato. I've never heard that in any kind of. Spanish you ever had sweet recipe. potatoes, Mike, on that? On your mm, quesadillas no. or anything? No. Now the other thing we I, I do because again I think it's kind of a neat way to get kids to eat vegetables, and I'm all about that. Please we, tell me. We have some spinach, around. Really we like have some baby though. spinach around here, Ooh. and that gives a little bit of bitter to the sweet and the spicy. Oh. So if, if you would hand me that, I think it's it? right there on the yeah. shelf. Yes. We're going to take out okay. a little bit of spinach leaves now that it's bubbling and it's getting hot. Are you going to be okay with spinach, Mike? Oh, yeah. He, he's, <laughs> it's, not, it's not bad for you. You know, it's kind of good. We put the spinach in here, just like a little salad, yes. Huh, that's well, interesting. Got to hide this stuff in there, you know? Right, exactly. No, Ray, it was a, the, the restaurant was packed. I mean, I was impressed on how quickly, and it wasn't fast food, but it was food that was served very quickly, and uh, it was awesome. You know, the, the, I, the chefs, I mean, is a packed house back there? Cause I've I saw had the two guys that have worked with me. Uh, they came and rescued me, basically, somewhere about 30, not 30, but 28 years ago. They uh, came in and they were working uh, in the restaurant and they 
finally kicked me out of the kitchen about 25 years ago, <laughs> and they've taken over since then. And, well, uh, they did a heck of a job. They Looks like their space. They, yeah, they like their space. So uh, they're doing they're doing a wonderful, oh a wonderful. My job. hats off to them. Yeah, and uh, they really work as a team. And when you come in, we're not just having one guy. This is a, a four man operation. So I've got a guy doing sauté. I've got a guy doing a grill. I've got a guy doing the the uh, actual uh, grill itself, the charcoal sure. grill. Sure. So I got a flat top grill guy. I got a. So I always got four guys going, and then there's the fourth guy is the guy who's in charge of the line that day. All right. And he's when, going to be the one who plates things up, oh, keeps really? it organized. Cool. So they all have a different role. Every yeah, it's delegation of authority. Yeah. But there's a lot of prep time that goes into getting this stuff ready, as you can see. They don't make these, just like even here, we're not making the, um, you see how these quesadillas, by the way, are getting nice and brown. Yes. Right? That's what you really want to get. Crunchy on the outside, the soft on the outside. Nice and hot. The but that's got to be a lot, that, that initially was it difficult for you to, to turn over the reins and you got to trust people with what you believe, you know, you want them to put out and then you get that trust and you're okay? Well, Everything it's still a struggle. that is, turns out well, I think, takes time. Sure. You, you, nothing okay. happens instantly. Pass that over. So now. Everybody grab one. Well, I'm going right. to pass this down to Mrs. Preston first. You Michael, I'm going to let Mrs. Going Preston going serve first. first. You betcha, Mrs. Preston. But yeah, I think it, I was very impressed. And you always wonder what's taking place on the behind the scenes. Exactly. And it, like you were talking earlier, it, it's not heavy. I mean, there's, and there's a lot of uh, good Mexican restaurants out there, no doubt. And yours uh, definitely impressed me. Uh, yeah, not just you. this time, but we've been going there for years. Well, thank you. Thanks. Mike, uh, you think you're going to go into the culinary arts? You're going to go into foods? Because you're in a foods class, right, Mike? Yep. Have you guys made any uh, uh, dishes that are similar to this? Um, not yet. She said we might get into this area. So how were you chosen for today's show? Just the lucky one? Well, she said that um, she noticed that I'm, like, good at cooking, so she wants to. Really? Yeah, she wanted me to um, come here and try different foods. And hey, maybe, there's, like maybe there's a future job. You yeah, never know. You never know. <laughs> Connect with Ray. <laughs> take a bite you there, everybody. Yeah, John can finish his interview on you later, Mike. Right. And uh, make sure you don't burn yourself because when it comes straight off, the, that cheese it's will be melting. Be, yeah, it's going to be hot. Uh, that'll burn the top of your the roof But of again, your I want you to make sure you put a little of that green sauce on there mm -hmm. just to make sure you get that. Green little. sauce is interesting. Now, a lot of people are marrying the, the avocado and the tomatillo salsa. It's, not, it's no longer guacamole and green salsa. They're putting it together. So what is that again, guys? I'm sorry to interrupt you. It's what a tomatillo it? green sauce, I'm assuming. Right. And But they're adding uh, fresh avocado to it. Exactly. Oh my God. I haven't it seen smooths, that one. It smooths it out. It just mm -hmm. gives it that. And, you know, I first saw it down in Puerto Vallarta, down oh in Mexico. Gosh. But, you know, I've been all over Mexico. That sweet is oh right. God, it, it just is. Really Miss Lauren, why don't you start it off and give us your first reaction? I heard, oh my God, why don't you continue from there? I, I love the avocado to tomatillos. I love the other, your cafe salsa. It just, it does. It gives a different flavor. Every time you take a bite with a different coolness. sauce, and you just taste something a little different. It's really Excellent. good. Mike? Um, yeah, it's good. Um, I like the cheese and um, sweet potatoes, and the sauce really gives it a kick. Nice. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. And Mr. John? For me, I, I'm impressed on the marriage of what's in the corn, the tortilla, and then the, it's this, your palate is exploding, you know, with, with both yeah. ends. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're going, how is the, the, the sweet potato going to go with the spinach and everything? It's just, it's awesome. Excellent. Well, rave reviews for our uh, spinach and sweet potato quesadilla. When we come back, we're going to start a shrimp diablo. Be right back. Hi, welcome back to Cook This. I'm your host, Pete Calvetti. And to introduce our celebrity judge panel again, I have Mr. John Passarello. Pete. Welcome back. Welcome back. Miss Lauren Presta. Hi, Pete. Hello, good morning. And Mr. Mike Matone. Moton. Moton. <laughs> Mike Moton. We're going to be best friends right in the show, let me tell you. Yeah. I'm going to you leap across this You're table. Gonna I'm going to, I'm going to spelling class after this. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, our celebrity uh, chef we have here today is Mr. Ray from Cafe Salsa. We just got done with a fantastic quesadilla with sweet potatoes, spinach, cheese. That was amazing. And our second dish of the day here is a shrimp Diablo. So I'm going to let Mr. Ray take it over and tell us what's going on here. All right, so I, I've got a couple of nice shrimps here going in the skillet, just in olive oil. Oh, as you can just see, we're just getting them started here. Pretty simple to do shrimps in a saute. 
They're almost done, but I'm going to put them over here on the plate I'm going to serve them on. And the next thing I'm going to do is start reducing heavy cream and a little chipotle. Now this is kind of a neat combination of things. This is a, you notice I put it right in the pan with the shrimp. That gets the shrimp flavor oh, going yeah. in it. Did you say, what was that, heavy cream? Heavy gourmet whipping cream. Okay. So, and then we're going to put in just you. a little bit. So what is How it do you like it, spicy or no? I'm going to defer to my colleagues. Who, Mike? who likes really spicy? Well, I think medium safe. Medium yeah. safe, yeah. I'll stop by the restaurant for a We don't need Miss Lauren crying on, on air. And right. Oh, I want to see her crying. <laughs> Ray, you didn't take long on the shrimp. It doesn't, oh, no. shrimp doesn't take long to cook. Uh, two, really? Three yeah, two, three minutes, yeah. Mm -hmm. You overdo that, it turns to rubber. How do you know it's, it's, if you're cooking it, you just kind of by taste, look? Pink. The pink. color. Okay. It turns pink. And yeah, now the right. other thing that's going to make you feel good is we're going to take these shrimps, now that I've got this going, and put them back in to the sauce. Oh, it's starting to smell. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. It smells wonderful. Cream and chipotle. What is that? A chipotle marinade? Chipotle sauce? What is that? What it, that is is uh, chipotle, of course, is the smoked, jalap uh, smoked jalapeno. Smoked jalapeno. Yeah. You can buy it as uh, chilies and adobo. The, oh, sure. The, Those cans or whatever. Yes, the chipotle and adobo. Well, wow. this is one that we make up, and it has just the chilies. Wow. And that'll wake you up. Yeah, it'll <laughs> wake you up. But it's got this nice smoky flavor to it. And um, so nice. we take uh, the chilies and make it into a puree, and there you are. Smells great. We love, wow. we love spicy and smoky stuff at 8 o'clock in the morning here. <laughs> it's fantastic. I love seeing the teachers know we're sending them back to a class and they just ate a bunch of peppers. Well, listen, we have smell vision on this program, right, Ray? Exactly. Uh, I should say Pete also. Beautiful. Yeah. Right, Pete. That's a little black beans we've made up. Uh, as you see, they're nice and piping hot. I, brought them back to life, so to speak, here in the uh, microwave, and I have a uh, little Spanish rice. Now rice, Spanish rice, everybody has their own recipe. We make it over at Cafe Salsa. We uh, add a little bit of... Um, Where is Cafe Salsa, Ray? 55th and LaGrange Road. Now, how long have you guys been there? Oh, gosh, we've been at S Cafe Salsa since 1997, but I've been doing this since 1983. Now, how, lo how large, uh, I mean, it was a lot of people there. How many people can it seat? Because it was pretty full. Oh, out. yeah. We can seat 140 people. Because wow. I think there was a couple of parties going on, too. Oh, yeah. Know, when they're, it's like, a, the, the, the whole thing about Mexican food that is why I really love doing Mexican food. I know what you're going to say. It is a party. And you it's had a party a there when I was there. Celebration so food. Yeah. Well, exactly. it was crazy. It was, it was like packed, but it was controlled. It was just amazing. Yeah. We've so, uh, did a great job. And don't you also have outdoor seating in the summer? Oh, in the summer we have a beautiful patio in the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. We've that's gone nice. there with teachings. With the I love patios. And just, it's been great. Yeah, the patio holds, I don't know, maybe 60 people at the top. Yeah, it's nice. That's, you can rent that out for a party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did a great job when we were there. Thanks. I'm going right. to turn that off. Oh, that smells so good. You ever been there, Mike? No. Um, Mike. Ray, um, like for someone that hasn't been to your restaurant, what do you prefer? For like the beginners, well, like what do you oh, recommend? Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah, basically, I think that one of the, the in this uh, kitchen here, we don't have a hood to do sure. great uh, grilling. But anything that you like grilled, if you like chicken, all of our meats are grilled over a wood fire, wood season fire. So oh. the whole point is, is you're going to get this little smoky th uh, thing going through everything we do: the fish, the scallops that we grill, the chicken, the steak. But boy, you know, how simple can you get? Make a, make a, have a chicken quesadilla. Look at the quesadilla part of our menu. Yeah, we've yeah got, it was vast, wasn't it? Yeah. I we, saw a quesadilla and it was like that one. Think of it as a pizza. A quesadilla is a pizza. Mm -hmm. You saw, it's got the cheese and everything. You put it together with, with um, chicken. You put it together with chicken that you add chipotle to and make it spicy or peppers. Probably a thousand combinations. There's a million. Yeah. Com yeah. yeah it's, these Steak, are like thousands shrimp, anyway. Fish. Well, someday it'll be, it'll be called Mike's. <laughs> you know, or M&M's, and then you could you recommend, go. like Ray's recommending, you know, yeah. to your customers. You know, but you Pete won't be able to come unless he can pronounce it. So like it's it's R&M's, yeah. Ray and Mike's on the road. So now with this concept here, oh, gosh, that so crazy. we're trying to give you... Is that for me, that plate? That whole plate is just <laughs> for you. Make sure you start. John, yes. I am definitely starting uh, on this one. Oh, no, they won't get it. I was nice that. enough, and Mike, we would pass it over to Mrs. Presto, but... We uh, have, we also have... Uh, with this, some spicy salsa or some mild salsa. Now this... Uh, so that's our shrimp diablo, huh? This is the shrimp diablo. Nice. This is our Spanish rice. 
Black beans. Black beans has absolutely, totally vegan. I think you can enjoy hey, those. Pete, uh, I have a great idea. How about, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that I was three I sit points. over there and eat once one episode? <laughs> one of these episodes? Yeah, exactly. You, you, know, you really I'll should. Sit there and eat? Uh, I don't know if I could do as good a job as you because I only know about eating the food. Oh, I don't know if I could be as entertaining place. as you in that seat either. Oh, yeah. Touche. But, Mike, uh, good question. What do you think? Uh, you think you'll be visiting this place soon? Yeah. yeah. I'm going thing. back next I week. Think Lauren, you know, a lot of people are. That's why I, I love shrimp. using while they're serving. That's why I love when we use local places where the owner's there sitting at the bar talking to people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we can get people in there because, you know, these are tough times for people in the restaurant industry, you know, where that's how we make our living and stuff like that. So, right. you know, that's why I love the show that we can give a lot of information. A lot of people can say, you know what, I pass that place every day on the Grange Road, but I've never stopped in. But this will put them over the edge where they're going to say, you know, let's stop in there for dinner. See, but the thing is this, too, uh, Pete. When I walked, we were leaving, when, uh, and Ray didn't realize you know, who I was, and, and I didn't realize Ray, who Ray was. Uh, he connected with me as soon as I left because I was speaking to his uh, uh, cashier, mm -hmm. you know, just about our meal. And he immediately turned, and he didn't realize this maybe because it's just who he is, and connected with me and started having a conversation as I was leaving. Now, my wife, we were on our way out, so I wanted to really, like, thank him for, really, mm -hmm. the whole nine yards. The service, the ambiance, you know, and then the food was, it's, it speaks for itself. Nice. But well, that's a good owner. Impressive. A good owner, you know, it's, it's a known fact that they always want to touch shoulders or meet, make eye contact with everybody in their place, you know. It just, it makes people feel warm and inviting, and, and that's, what, and especially the contact on the way out. Right. That's the last impression they have on their customers. So, if you get a good, lasting impression, that's what will bring them back. Well, my thought was... When I left, he had to either be the owner or the manager. Sure. And even though I just for a second. So how'd you so like the impression? How'd you like the shrimp? Very good. She finished it's, hers. It's had <laughs> a nice little bite to it. It's not too hot. It's not too mild. It's just a perfect Excellent. seasoning to it. Really good, Mr. Mike. Um, I really like the shrimp. It's a um, new flavor to me. I have always had it different. That's good. Expanding the horizons yeah. in a culinary way. Uh, different uh, spices and stuff. Yeah, I, I agree with both what they both said. Just the balance of everything together. Shrimp was awesome. Mm -hmm. And right. I love the sauce. The sauce, yes. the balance of the <laughs> spices and the sauce was perfect. I like that you had the black beans with it, too. That's mm -hmm. just a very different, nice, yeah. very different place. Trying, trying to keep it healthy. Excellent. But happy. So if you want away from the norm, this is the place to go. Yeah, man. happy. Um, all right, well, that's our Shrimp Diablo. Really fun. Uh, when we come back, we are going to make some uh, margarita seared Atlantic salmon. Stay tuned. Stop making me laugh. <laughs> Hi, welcome to another episode of Cook <laughs> This. We are back for our third segment. Oh, John. Um, <laughs> since we're talking about John, let's introduce our judge panel over here. John Prasarello, always fun to have you here. It's oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah, totally. Thank Ms. you for Lauren having me. Lauren Presta. Good morning. This is Good Lauren. morning. Oh. And Mr. why don't you introduce him for me? Mike Moten. Mike Moten. Yay. You like how I went around that? You like that? Yeah, 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 Mike yeah. Moten's here yeah. as a culinary <laughs> student from RB. We are teaching our kids right how to grow up and cook for the world. He's connecting with Ray. Today we have Mr. Ray from Cafe Salsa, a Mexican-inspired um, restaurant? Mexican restaurant. Um, the last plate he is going to make for us today is a margarita-seared Atlantic salmon. I can't wait for this. Take it over. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a, uh, a nice salmon filet here, and I'm going to season this up. Of course, you season the with a little lemon pepper. And, and you, oh, telephone, damn. Technology, you gotta love it. That's how important you are. Oh, you are probably thing. someone from the uh, seafood shop. You want yeah, me to talk seafood to shop. No, just get rid of that phone. He will yeah, talk how are you doing? Yeah. We're done here. <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> He's on set. So what we got is, we got a little lemon pepper, a little salt and pepper, and we got a nice hot skillet. You see, we're almost smoking here. I can see it smoking. This is the key, is, is you've gotta make sure that it's near smoking, and then you put the good side down first, then you season the other side. You'll see why in the end. Because when I plate this at the end, God, you can just smell the good side will be up. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. a little salt and pepper. You mm -hmm. see, we use a little kosher salt. That kosher salt, okay. Kosher salt mixed together with the uh, pepper, all right. Pre mix that. All right, in, the, in this other pan, what I'm trying to do is we're trying to get a little bit of veggies to go with our garlic mashed potatoes. Kind of, I know Mexican, you don't do these things, Mexican right? Mexican inspired. But the point is inspired. that not everybody likes rice and beans. Yep. Sometimes you want to come in and have a little Mexican, a sure. little Irish, and a little good, just good for you. And this is not only good for you, but fun. Excellent. 
So we're going to put in these veggies in this smaller saute skillet. So what kind of veggies you got there? We got Italian squash, zucchini, and we have carrots. carrots. Now you, we juliened them with a, yeah. you know, with a oh uh, nice yeah greater presentation. Right. So is Mrs. Farley teaching you how to flip like that? No, oh, she's teaching talk. us cuts right now. Cuts? Cut? Oh, really? Yeah, this cut. was done with a mandolin. Oh. Okay, so which is a really tool that really helps you go faster in the kitchen. Um, but again, you have to be careful and you have to know exactly how. Oh, you're it's safety first in the kitchen. Right. What would happen? So you see, I'm getting this these. Um, we have to have a discussion with this guy after the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm the one that's causing that problems, you not you. I'm the one. Okay. Not so you. now, so now you see, I've got kind of got that heating up, and now I can add the herbs, which are some basil here. We're just adding a little bit of basil. Basil is probably my favorite herb. Right. I'm, oh, it's how great. aromatic it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little salt and pepper. Don't want to get too much. And then we've got a little bit of garlic here. Ray, I know you're cruising through this. How do you, when you're creating these, how are you, are you, are you experimenting with the, the amount of spice and spices as you're, as you're creating these, these combinations? This is, this is the part of, that I like about being um, a chef as opposed to being a baker. It's, a, it's an art. You kind of learn mm -hmm. when you're painting sure. what colors, how much to mix together, just by intuition. That's how so you end up learning to this cook. This smells wonderful. And and so it's it becomes intuition. It, it, it's not cooks are a little bit of this, a little bit of that, yes, a little bit of exactly. that. Exactly. Baking is well, precise. On the plate. Baking is Baking exactly. is precise. You're off a yeah. teaspoon yeah. and you're gonna ruin your right. whole cake pie. So now we've got a nice char, you see on the oh, bottom. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show you guys too. Oh my okay. gosh. Okay, so we got a nice little char on it and we're gonna turn this sucker over. Well where is Mike and Lauren's piece of fish? No, where's yours? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're he likes taking all the potatoes. So here's the next thing we're going to do. This is a nice um, uh, Cholula hot sauce. Mm -hmm. This is the brand Cholula, I prefer. Cholula. Cholula. Most people like... It's a little bottle with yeah, the wooden top to it. But oh. there's, there's many others. But this is the one we, I prefer, so that's the one we use. You know. We're going to put a little of this on the top. God, this smell wonderful. We're going to take out a piece of lemon. Wow. 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 Whoa. We're going to put these... Right down, actually, in, mm. in the oil. Lemon. Now, what's mm. happening is, is we're getting the oil uh, infused with the lemon rind and the lemon flavors, and it'll take away that bitterness that a lemon has, so it won't be quite so sharp. So this is the beginning of how do we get to margaritas. Well, what's margarita got in it? I don't know. Lemon, limes, orange, right? All these mm -hmm. new flavors. And of course, tequila. Can't I'm not supposed that. to say tequila, but it does. <laughs> this over here is nearly done, and I'm going to just add a little bit of white wine. Put that on the plate. Jeez. Uh, that's wow. out of the way. Oh, good. This over here is. Oh, those, I've never seen lemons grilled up like that. I haven't either. That's amazing. All right, so what I'm trying to do is just get this all infused together, and then I'm going to put these on top. Ray, are you doing this at home too? You find yourself oh, like I loved, just, just uh, this playing is, in the kitchen. This is actually a dish that um, you can prepare at home almost any time. It's not the only thing you need is a little yeah, bit of an exhaust hood or a no bigger open room like we have here. Um, what do you need? Oh, this is it. So now we have margarita. the margarita itself. All the alcohol is going to be gone, but it does actually have alcohol in it. But it, again, it just reinfuses the flavor. Mm -hmm into this. Now you know why we saved this plate for last for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> By now all Michael, the alcohol is gone. We, we should have started the show with this. This would have been really more, a lot more interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So you see. That looks wonderful. Oh, oh Mike, can we so tell you you can't good. eat this? I guess I just told him I got his share. <laughs> <laughs> he can the veggies and potatoes. Oops. <laughs> but you do know that when it's cooked, it, yeah, it, it's it all reduces and there's really. Reduces. Well, look at you. Hey, I love the Look cook. who's learned some culinary terms here. I love cooking. She's been on your show a lot. Yeah. <laughs> a lot? No. <laughs> Enough. Now just I'm, a, gonna be his I'm not going to put year. much of this, which we never do. We just put just a tad, just to keep that flavor going, and then 
we're all set. I'm gonna turn these Excellent. to Excellent. Let us, sorry, I can do the passing I'm gonna there. pass sure. it over to Mrs. Uh, Presta. No. Michael can pass it to Mrs. Presta. So sure. You know what it is nice being a lady on the show because I get first dibs. I don't have to wait for the Ray, well, I will tell you this. <laughs> I know Mike's, in, I'm definitely coming back. When I go back, I won't be getting my traditional meals. I won't either. Ever again. Well, yeah. And remember, if you don't like fish, we got chicken. If you don't like chicken, we got steak. You yeah. know, we, uh, we've, we, the sweet potatoes we saw before, we served that with a spicy glazed pork chop. Again, I couldn't do it here because of the, the lack of a hood, but I think that's one of the more fantastic concepts. Yeah, I think concepts. you can see that your, 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 the variety at your place oh, is wow. fantastic. And I think this show will it'll open up a lot of people's eyes that it's not just fajitas, it's some mm -hmm. fish, it's some crazy quesadillas. Hey, that's good, crazy quesadillas. Yeah. I, yeah. Just, copyright, I just copyrighted that. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, while they're tasting, why don't you tell us about like um, what hours of operations do you have? Oh, yeah. Well, okay, we're open uh, every... Oh, Seven, all seven days of the week. Seven days a week. For lunch and dinner. Uh, we open at 11. Uh, kitchen closes on Sunday and Monday around 9 o'clock. Um, on Friday and Saturday, it stays open until about 10.30. Oh, nice. Uh, nice. Wednesday, Thursday, 10 o'clock. And Tuesday, it really kind of depends. And so we're, because we're a family affair. Sure. Uh, you, so know, you stay until people are hungry, until they're not hungry. And then right. But always, off. we always stay open until 9.30 on, on Tuesday. So it's well, let's get a reaction from the, the guests over here. Why don't we start with who's not uh, eating right now? Okay, Lauren, we'll go with you. I guess I'll go first. The, the salmon is absolutely wonderful cooked. It's seared perfectly. The flavor is awesome. The vegetables, I would never have thought putting fresh basil in with the zucchini and stuff. It has, it oh, just gives a different very, flavor to it. It's really good. Ideas it is. It's really unique. great I've ideas. I've been cooking a long time and I like to see all this variety. Here. Yeah, it's, it's really, really good. Mr. Mike. Um, wow. Ooh, <laughs> I like that We've one. We've never had that comment yet. <laughs> wow. This, well, this is a good dish. Excellent. Excellent. And that's great that the young people are seeing that. Exactly. It's not mm -hmm. just a steak and potatoes, whatever. It's the variety and the veggies in there. And Mr. Um, John with a second helping yeah, off camera. I, I have never had uh, salmon taste like this yeah. in my life. This is like some of the greatest sauce and just the whole pack. It's a combination. The marriage, as, as we call it, is, is perfect. Great job. My Excellent. Well, I want to thank our celebrity judge panel here for your time and for coming in and eating food in the morning. I know it's really tough for you guys here. <laughs> and um, I, I want to thank Mr. Ray for coming from Cafe Salsa. I'm yep, sure he put in a you. late night last night. It's pretty tough. And I am your host, Pete Calvetti. Until our next episode, stay hungry. Thanks. Gosh,